We physicists have held up 100 years, beginning around 1916, for this. Photo. It is a locale. Dark openings may very well be one of the most captivating and secretive peculiarities in the universe. They are huge monsters as far as power, and yet practically imperceptible to us. A dark opening gauging maybe two to four million times the mass of the sun. But since of the exploration that was placed into them over the last couple of many years, we've gone from knowing literally nothing about them to getting to find out increasingly more very close and individual. And keeping in mind that while things have just gotten more insane, Makaku just reported that we've at long last gotten to take a gander at what's inside a dark opening. And this new data carries light to the subtleties the universe of science could have missed from the beginning. Go along with us as we profound more profound into dark openings and uncover what's inside. Space is huge. Terrible. What are dark openings? Before we get into the subtleties of what Makaku found, we need to discuss the first. Despite the fact that most of us have some thought what dark openings are, there are still a few holes in the right data. You see, in 1916, Albert Einstein distributed his hypothesis of general relativity, which anticipated the presence of dark openings. Around then, the idea of dark openings was absolutely hypothetical. It required an additional 50 years for the logical local area to track down proof that dark openings really exist. This occurred in the 1960s. They were examining the Cygnus heavenly body when they saw a strangely dazzling blue star that was producing X-beams. This star was definitely not a stale object, however was circumventing a monster dark something. Upon further examination, it was seen that as the X-beams weren't simply moving around on their own, however they were being sucked into the dark thing they were circling. Consequently, the name Dark Opening. This revelation was critical on the grounds that it gave confirmation that dark openings really exist. Furthermore, that they were only an invention of Albert Einstein's wild creative mind. While that was extraordinary, it likewise intended that there was this unbelievable entity in space that we critically had to find out about. So, scientists from one side of the planet to the other got to work. This dark opening was named Cygnus X1. Also, it is situated in the star grouping Cygnus around 6,000 light a long time from Earth. And it was no little revelation. It's multiple times more splendid than the Sun and extraordinarily thick which makes it have a solid gravitational force. The gravitational force areas of strength for is such an extent that not even light can get away from it. For this reason, it is known as a dark opening. The idea of a dark opening is both captivating and unnerving. It is a locale of room where gravity is solid to the point that nothing, not even light, can avoid. Whatever gets excessively near a dark opening will be pulled into it, gone forever. However, that part of risk makes it significantly more important to learn all that there is to realize about them. Was this it? Or were we simply starting? The response wound up being the last option. After the disclosure of Cygnus X1, researchers began to look for other dark openings. They saw that as there might be near more than 100 million dark openings in the smooth manner alone, however since they are so extraordinarily hard to distinguish, we actually don't have an accurate number. In any case, from its vibes, there are a few million dark openings in the smooth way, in our very system which makes them much more significant to concentrate. So we should separate it. The fundamental worry with dark openings is continuously going to be gravity. Their gravitational force is extraordinary to the point that anything that enters it packs down cosmically until it turns into a peculiarity. In less difficult terms, dark openings resemble enormous vacuum cleaners that suck everything in. One of the most terrifying parts about the examination that has gone into dark openings is the reality that if somebody somehow managed to fall into one, they would cut to the chase that they become a solitary line. This cycle would happen gradually and the individual would bite the dust before the last structure as a matter of fact sets in. So we should simply say that nobody ought to step into one, except for they're everywhere. So might we at any point truly be in peril? in spite of the way that the nearest dark opening to Earth is 1,500 light years away. It's actually adequately close to raise different kinds of feedback. In 2021, researchers had the option to deliver the first clear photo of a dark opening, explicitly the M87 dark opening. This dark opening was shot a few evenings in succession, and with each photo the scientists accumulated to an ever-increasing extent proof about it. 
They needed to fasten the individual photographs together to make something that filled every one of the holes. This way, they had the option to sort out that there are three layers to a dark opening. It's not only one single expanding opening of nothingness as many individuals accept. Things are much more confounded than that. To try and get to the nothing part of a dark opening, you need to endure the initial two layers. The main layer is called the occasion skyline. What while in the main layer is the place of no return. Once you pass the occasion skyline, there's no way but forward and you will be sucked into the dark opening. It just gets more awful from that point forward. The subsequent layer is the photon circle, which is the locale where light circles the dark opening. Any light that enters this locale will be caught and cannot get away from the dark opening's gravitational force. At long last, we come to the third layer, which is the peculiarity. This is where all that enters the dark opening gets packed down cosmically until it turns into a peculiarity. The peculiarity is a point in space-time where the laws of physical science as we probably are aware them separate and we just can't foresee what occurs next. At the peculiarity, the thickness is limitless and the laws of physical science as we probably are aware them fail to exist. Now, what makes all of this endlessly more terrible is the way that each and every dark opening you study will be completely not quite the same as the last. Certain, they truly do will more often than not follow something similar three-layer idea, however, the way they capability could be immensely unique. At this point, in the event that this were anything more, all we really want to do is jump back on those telescopes and simply concentrate on the central issue in detail. Yet, with dark openings, you can't truly do that. Researchers can study dark openings by implication by noticing the radiation they emanate and the gas and residue that encompasses them. Sending a test like the explorer inside a dark opening isn't conceivable. On the grounds that anything that enters the occasion skyline is pulled towards the peculiarity where it is compacted to a vastly little point. So you can't precisely squander billions of dollars just to get an impression each time. On the grounds that the second the test draws near enough, it'll simply pound into nothingness. On account of that obvious issue, researchers are left with no choice except for to study these objects in a two-layered manner. Even however they are three-layered peculiarities. Truly, to make matters much really testing, there are likewise the two issues of each and every dark opening being exceptional and the laws of physical science as we realize them separating when we attempt to investigate within. This implies that the customary techniques for logical requests don't actually apply to the review of dark openings. That doesn't mean that the scientists haven't been occupied. There are bunches of various speculations and clarifications of dark openings and with every one, things get to an ever-increasing extent fascinating. One of the most convincing hypotheses about the arrangement of dark openings is that they are made from fallen stars. When a star debilitates all of its fuel, it can never again create enough energy to balance the power of gravity that is continually pulling internal. Thus, the star starts to break down in on itself, decreasing and denser as it does so. In the event that the star is huge enough, this cycle can proceed until it turns into a peculiarity. To comprehend the idea of dark openings in profundity, NASA researchers turned their regard for the center of the cosmic system. M87 stargazers noticed a super-strong whirlpool of very hot hydrogen gas that was turning at an astounding pace of 1.12 million miles per hour. The sheer power of this turning circle of gas ought to have made it savagely fly separated in altogether directions. But it didn't. Researchers reasoned that there must be a Goliath mass accumulated at the focal point of the system to keep this from occurring. This enormous article weighed as much as 2 to 3 billion suns and must be a dark opening. Yet that's by all accounts not the only hypothesis about dark opening twist. In 1963, the New Zealand mathematician Roy Kerr utilized Einstein's conditions of gravity to give the best depiction of turning dark openings. Kerr showed that a turning dark opening wouldn't implode into a point as previously suspected, but to a ring of fire or a slight circle. The plate would turn so quickly that divergent powers would keep it from imploding. This turning plate of issue is known as the consequently spear, and it is the locale encompassing the dark opening where the laws of material science begin to separate. Yet, the most interesting element of Kerr's arrangement was that it anticipated the presence of an Einstein-Rosen extension, otherwise called a wormhole. This is a hypothetical entry through space-time that interfaces two separate locales of the universe or even two equal universes. 
The thought is that assuming one were to fall into a dark opening rather than being squashed to obscurity, one would be sucked down a passage through the ring of shoot and shot out a white opening in an equal universe. To grasp how this functions, we want to take a gander at the idea of space-time in Einstein's hypothesis. Reality are not separate substances, but are interconnected, shaping a four-layered texture called space-time. Objects with mass twist this texture, making a gravitational field that makes different items move towards them. Presently envision a sheet of paper addressing space-time. If you put two focuses on the paper and draw a line between them, this is a portrayal of how items move through space-time. However, imagine a scenario where you could overlap the paper down the middle and make an alternate way between the two focuses. This is basically what a wormhole gets it done, makes an easy route through space-time, taking into consideration quicker than light travel between two focuses in the universe or indeed, even between various universes. Yet, we should not go overboard here. Regardless of the thrilling prospects introduced by Kerr's arrangement, the presence of wormholes is absolutely hypothetical. As of now, we have no proof that they in fact exist or that they can be utilized for travel. Yet, the possibility of a wormhole raises interesting inquiries regarding the idea of dark openings and the conceivable outcomes they present. And keeping in mind that there may be a conceivable clarification, it actually leaves a part of inquiries unanswered which is the reason another hypothesis was presented. This one was kindness of teacher Leonard Suskind, who is the dad of string hypothesis and the prime supporter of holographic hypothesis. The holographic hypothesis recommends that the data held inside a dark opening isn't lost, but is in rather put away on its two-layered surface. This truly intends that the data about all that falls into a dark opening is encoded on its occasion skyline, the limit past which nothing can get away from. Suskind's hypothesis proposes that the actual universe might be a 3D image with all that we see and experience being a projection of data put away on a far-off two-layered surface. This thought has significant ramifications for our comprehension of the idea of the real world and the texture of space-time. Suskind's holographic hypothesis has developed some momentum in mainstream researchers in later years. It offers a method for accommodating the evident loss of data in dark openings with the standards of quantum mechanics which express that data can't be obliterated. Generally, Suskind's hypotheses propose that dark openings are not a definitive destroyers of data, but instead a definitive preservers. As captivating as every one of these hypotheses are, they actually leave us with a greater number of inquiries than responds to. The nature of dark openings stays one of the most prominent mysteries in the universe, and in spite of our earnest attempts, we are still a long way from understanding them completely. This is where the most recent declaration from Myokaku becomes possibly the most important factor. Myokaku is a hypothetical physicist, futurist, and science communicator. He is a teacher of hypothetical material science at the City School of New York and the CUNY Graduate Center. He is known for his work in string hypothesis and his endeavors to promote science through books, TV programs, and public talks. Kaku's most recent declaration in regards to dark openings is pivotal. He proposes that we have at long last gotten to take a gander at what's inside a dark opening. As per Kaku, the data that has been accumulated over the course of the years has permitted us to make a point-by-point -point model of the inside of a dark opening. This model uncovers that dark openings are not simply void voids but contain a complex and dynamic construction. Kaku's model recommends that the inside of a dark opening is loaded up with a thick superheated plasma that is continually moving. This plasma is made by the serious gravitational forces that pack make a difference to outrageous densities and temperatures. The plasma is thick to the point that it discharges high-energy radiation which can be identified by telescopes. This new model additionally proposes that the peculiarity at the focal point of a dark opening isn't a point but rather a ring or a circle. This ring or disk is encircled by a twirling mass of superheated plasma that is continually moving. The extraordinary gravitational forces make a whirlpool impact that keeps the plasma in consistent movement, keeping it from falling into the peculiarity. This new model has significant ramifications for our comprehension of dark openings. It recommends that they are not simply inestimable vacuum cleaners that suck everything in but are dynamic and complex objects that have a parcel more happening inside them than we previously believed. Kaku's declaration additionally brings up fascinating issues about the idea of the universe and the texture of space-time. If dark openings contain a dynamic and complex construction, 
it recommends that the actual universe may be more powerful and complex than we previously thought. It likewise raises inquiries concerning the idea of gravity and the principal powers that oversee the universe. While Kaku's declaration is historic, it is vital to note that it is as yet a hypothetical model. We don't yet have direct proof of the inside of a dark opening and much more exploration is expected to affirm these discoveries. In any case, Kaku's model addresses a huge forward-moving step in how we might interpret dark openings and the secrets they hold. In end, the investigation of dark openings has made considerable progress since Albert Einstein originally anticipated their reality in 1916. From the disclosure of Cygnus X-1 to the new declaration by Mayo Kaku, our comprehension of dark openings has developed huge amounts at a time. While we actually have much to get familiar with the new models and hypotheses that have arisen in later years suggest that dark openings are not simply unfilled voids but powerful and complex objects that hold the way into a portion of the most noteworthy secrets of the universe. As we keep on investigating the universe and push the limits of our insight, we can anticipate really historic disclosures that will reveal insight into the nature of dark openings and the texture of spacetime itself.